Welcome, all of you. What an awesome day. You're very lucky to be here. You're going to be inspired. You're going to find out from all these wonderful women what random paths they took. And if you're sitting there going, I want to be like her or her, as well you might. This is not, you know, like a game of Twister where you can go do this, do this, do this, and then you get to be like this. But you can hear about a path they took. And as Paula outlined, you know, people's lives you know, take interesting paths. You know, I started as a radio and TV person. You know, what, what was I doing about women's health and what impact you have? Jane's a lawyer. Some people come from community service. We've got a doctor here, of course, uh, but what she's doing is, is very different. So you're going to hear really interesting paths. And as Paula said, we hope it really inspires you to think differently and sort of feel where you might if you follow inside or outside a box, make a big difference in changing uh, women's health and women's lives. Whether it has to do with um, homelessness, housing issues, addiction, mental health, fundraising, law, philanthropy, you know, all kinds of things can lead to different places to, to make a huge impact. And I think you're going to hear those stories um, coming up. Just, uh, you know, as a little background for myself, um, I started out as a radio interviewer, um, news and current affairs, a broadcaster, and in, on television as well, um, and have kind of morphed into being a volunteer board member, fundraiser, getting involved in organizations, and, and trying to make a difference that way. I find that very satisfying, suiting sort of my age and stage. The last documentary I did, and actually I screened it um, for a women's College Hospital yeah. event oh, was uh, about Kilimanjaro and, mm -hmm. and climbing that mountain with a, a group of breast cancer survivors and, and what it meant to them. And uh, I was on the board of Women's College Hospital. But it's been mentioned, um, one of the things I've ended up doing, which sort of came out of the blue, was being a real advocate in terms of mental illness and spending a lot of time fighting stigma, working often with my fabulous daughter, Catherine. Um, and making speeches and trying to raise money to improve health, um, I mean, care, research, uh, access uh, for people in Ontario, all across Canada, to, mm -hmm. to mental health uh, treatment. And, you know, just to, to tell a story, this came about randomly. I was uh, with my husband, a donor. We, he was a former partner of Mike Wilson's. And so when, you know, a call came from CAMH, they had a campaign going on, Come and take the tour. I do that all the time now, too. We all do tours. <laughs> it's how you get your hooks into people. And uh, I went down, and I'd never gone down to Cam H. You know, you'd heard stories all your life. You know, you held your breath on the Queen Street car going by that scary place, you know, where the crazy people were and the wall was. Um, you know, it had gone, been built in 1850. And when I finally went down and looked and saw how horrible it was and how we were treating people, um, and that there was no gift shop, there were bars and cages. You thought, geez, you know, they only do this to people who people don't care about who aren't voting and screaming about their treatment. Um, so at the end of the tour, I said, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to help. You know, I'll join your campaign and the board, et cetera. And they said, would you do an awareness campaign? And I said, sure. And, you know, they'd had a few people, including Mike Wilson, um, who'd stepped forward, lieutenant governors, et cetera, put their pictures up in bus shelters and on the radio, et cetera. And, you know, then I had to pause briefly because I have never suffered from a mental illness or addiction. And, you know, although in my family, like almost every family, many, many people had um, addiction, alcoholism, bipolar disorder, anxiety, et cetera. But, you know, who do you talk about? And so our, our daughter Catherine has panic and anxiety disorder. And, you know, I said, Kath, can I talk about you uh, in this ad? And she didn't even think twice. She'd been very open about it. She went, of course. And so, you know, the ad came out. And um, she and I were contacted instantly. You know, people on Facebook coming up to us, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, which I was thinking it's her courage, it's not mine. But it did, like, hit both of us. Mm -hmm. We actually were a little embarrassed to do it. We went, she's not sick enough. We don't have a good enough story. This isn't powerful enough. Other people are talking about suicide and schizophrenia. But and they said, you know what, do it, you'll see. Anyway, long story short, it had a, an amazing impact 
obviously on people, but mostly on us. We went, okay, if there's anything to do with our lives, we better frigging do this because people are hungry for honesty and to talk about this, so we better go and do that. And we've continued to do that for many, many years. And uh, uh, it's enormously important and satisfying. So, you know, how did I get into that? How did, I didn't plan for that. I wasn't looking to do that. And it, it came and got me and made a huge difference to me. And, you know, I hope I can make a difference doing that.